But I want to bring in Rahul Shivastav as well as uh, Rajdeep Sardesai both into this conversation. You know, I'm just going through the latest figures that are coming in. And, uh, you know, either of you could go first. Rajdeep, if you want to take them. We are, when you're talking about opposition unity, figures coming in, as per government sources, 17 MPs have now cross-voted for the BJP candidates so far. 104 MLAs have so far cross-voted for the BJP's candidates so far. What does this prove? Look, I think you have to look at this in the larger picture. You have a candidate who represents a tribal community. For the first time, the country is going to get an Adivasi uh, uh, president. And you've got several MPs and MLAs who belong to Adivasi communities who naturally will want to go back to their constituents and say that, look, we went ahead possibly and voted for a Draupadi Murmu or will certainly want to in a way celebrate this occasion. So I don't look at these numbers seriously. I think you have to look at the bigger picture of where the opposition stands. In Draupadi Murmu, the BJP very successfully, strategically put up a candidate from a community which has never got representation in, mm -hmm. a, a, in Rashtrapati Bhavan. So the symbolism is very important and politics symbolism does matter. You've given the BJP has a talking point. The opposition by putting up Yashwan Sinha did not by contrast have a talking point. It was a done deal. The election was always going to be won by the government. You've seen all presidential elections have always gone with the ruling party in power. The only difference this time was that maybe the opposition had an opportunity to put up some kind of a compelling figure who could have become a symbol of, in a way, the kind of change that the opposition would like to see. And they've been unable to do that. So the cross-voting uh, is not such an important factor, but the fact that from the JMM right. to the Biju Janta Dal to uh, Mamta Banerjee herself, right. who today has gone and announced August 9th as Tribal Day, because she's also conscious in a state like Bengal that she must not be seen to be opposing a tribal candidate. Or even the Shiv Sena, which has used this opportunity in a way to distance itself from the Mahavikas Agadi. So in that sense, by putting up Draupadi Murmu, the mm -hmm. BJP was able to break in a way any semblance of opposition unity and at the same time was able to send out a powerful symbolic message for its potential vote bank of the future, the scheduled tribes community, which is already a, a, right. a vote which they have been able to attract in recent elections. You know, one of the reasons that possibly Mamta Banerjee made that announcement of Tribal Day is that the Santhal tribe, uh, which is represented by Ms. Murmu, uh, is a huge chunk of the vote where tribals are in, concerned in, in West part, Bengal. In, in a, part, in a particular part, part of, pocket of, of West Bengal. But I want to bring in Rahul Shivastav into this conversation as well. You know, Rahul Shivastav, you know, one just looks at two things. You look at the game plan of the Bharatiya Janata Party, where let's just zero in on the tribal vote, where they see that it's 8.6%. Just 8.6% might seem small, but the damage it can cause in 2024 with uh, them trying to cultivate the OBC vote plus uh, the tribal vote. On the other hand, the opposition, forget about a game plan, can't even reach consensus on candidates. You see, uh, Preeti... The, I, the problem is that the BJP is very certain of its narrative now. It has gone in for a huge demographic shift as far as political electoral base is concerned. It's no more that Brahmin Banya party and Mr. Sena has been around in BJP right. as an ideologue also from outside. You know that shift is very visible now. And it's not that the, uh, it's not that the upper caste is abandoning them. The upper caste is accepting that narrative of the BJP, when the BJP ahead of the elections in UP say, went out and said that 27 ministers in the Council of Ministers are now OBC, right. the Brahmins in UP didn't revolt against the BJP, mm -hmm. they went with the BJP. So there is now a narrative of the BJP in which it has become acceptable that the BJP is now bringing in more, vote, uh, more demographies into its voting uh, crowd and people are accepting it. Look at what the opposition has done. Now, Rajdeep is saying ignore this cross-voting. But what has it done actually? It has given a picture of fracture. One, mm -hmm. why couldn't the, BJP, the opposition send out a political signal? Are you in politics just to make, have a make-believe fight against the BJP? Mm 